Uh, one of the largest art fairs is happening next week. It's the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Yes, I love this. I love it too. This event draws hundreds of thousands of people, and if you are one of them, you'll likely work up an appetite, and you're going to want to find a good place to eat. And you know we've got you covered. Our Michelle Oliver is taking us to a place that is putting in their own twist on barbecue. Get ready to dine in the D at the Blue Tractor. Mouth-watering brisket, tender pulled pork, and a cold glass of house-made beer. That's what the Blue Tractor was built on. Really, it's been focused on smoked meat and house-made beer the whole time. So that's been the continual focus of this uh, restaurant and the driving force behind it since the inception of Blue Tractor. And based on all these awards for their home brews, I'd say they're pretty good at it. We have four menu beers, six rotating seasonals. Um, we do have one uh, traditional English style hand pull. I think if you come here, you're going to find uh, at least one beer that you can enjoy a pint of. This rustic Ann Arbor restaurant opened its doors in late 2008. Overall, we want that rustic feel, that Americana type of feel. Uh, when you come in, you should feel welcome and you should also feel like this is a barbecue place. But this isn't your classic barbecue. It's global barbecue, as Chef Greg put it. What we mean by global barbecue is that we can do any item we want as long as it features smoked meat as a central focus. So for instance, our bibimbap has a smoked brisket on it, and our banh mi has smoked pork shoulder and smoked pork belly. And then uh, the, the real flagship item that we sell here is our barbecue platters, which is just completely focused on the smoked meats and put together any way the guest wants it. So we're going to see all the juicy details about what he means by making their signature brisket and serving it up two ways. Oh yeah, it's just leaking juices. What we have here today is a Packer brisket. Uh, it's prime grade and it is an AMP 120, which means that it is a full brisket. So we start by trimming off the excess fat. So what we want to do is leave a nice ratio of fat and meat yeah. so every bite has a good blend of the two of them. Because you want the fat because it kind of flavors the meat, but you don't want too much fat because then, I mean, everyone's had fatty meat before. Absolutely. It's not ideal. Now it's time to season them. So we're going to take a little mustard. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. It's just like putting mustard on a hot dog, but it's a brisket. <laughs> we're going to take a little bit of our roasted onion base here. We're going to spread that around. Nice, even coat. So we don't want too much wet wetness on here because then we'll get like a paste going. It's like giving a massage. Then we coat it in a healthy helping of salt and pepper. And into the smoker it goes. Once they've cooked for a bit, they get taken out and wrapped. The reason we wrap is to preserve the moisture. Oh, and at right. the same time, uh, we do it to assist in the cooking process. So we're going to take this and we're going to burrito it. It's a very tasty present. <laughs> After one more trip in the smoker, you get to unwrap your present and enjoy the juicy brisket inside. A very good smelling present. When we pick this brisket up, it should bend. Oh, right? it, oh it almost breaks it. Yep. Now you can either slice it up and serve it fresh on a plate with your choice of sides and other meats, or it can be cooked up with some Asian spices and served over rice in a stone bowl with a fried egg on top in their take on a bibimbap. Oh wow, that looks so good. So good. Joining wow. us in studio is Danielle Anderson, the general manager at Blue Tractor. And Kim, you said this is one of your favorite places in yes. Ann Arbor. When my husband and I lived in Ann Arbor, we used to come here all the time, so we love it. Um, but I'm so happy you're here with us yeah, on Live great. in the D. So tell us about this amazing spread. Yeah, so so excited to be here and so excited for the art fair to come to Ann Arbor. Because yes. It's always a great opportunity for um, Ann Arbor residents and Ann Arbor businesses uh, to have people from the outside come in and check out what Ann Arbor's all about. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're all about it. So part all of about Ann Arbor. <laughs> all about Ann Arbor. And when we're there, we're hungry and we're ready to eat. Yes. So what would what are some of the things you brought in that so, you'd recommend? Um, one of the big trendy things that's going around in foodie world right now is going to be a bowl style meal. So one of our bowls that we created by Chef Greg, who you saw earlier, 
is going to be our smoky pork and kale bowl. So it's got uh, <clears throat> lime marinated kale, it's got cremini mushrooms, onions, our house smoked pulled pork, tortilla strips, corn wow. salsa, and pickled jalapenos. I love that because sometimes we eat barbecue, it doesn't feel that healthy, but you yeah. have the kale and yeah, you're like, sure. we're good. <laughs> Health food. <laughs> yep, there we go. Uh, and then you got some sauces. Yes, yeah, so all of our sauces are house made, so we, get, we refer to them by the tops of their caps. So our blue cap is going to be a vinegar based sauce, which is going to be a little bit spicier. Our yellow cap is going to be our mustard based sauce. Our purple is our most popular, and that's going to be our smoky sweet. And the red based, the red top is going to be our tomato based sauce. Okay. All right, and all let's right. work our way down here. What do we have here? So we have our house made corn muffins with our honey butter. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we have our pick platter. So this is going to be what we really focus on at Blue Tractor is going to be our pick meats. Just a bit so we have our smoked brisket here, uh, which is smoked between 14 and 16 hours overnight. And we have our pulled pork. And then as well, you can pick two sides with it. And here I have coleslaw and potato salad with our house made uh, corn muffin and your choice of sauces for that. Yes, and then right here, I've got my eye on that. The, so this is gonna be our mac and cheese. Um, and actually on Sunday is National Mac and Cheese Day. So we'll be featuring two different types of mac and cheese for that. Well, but this one go. right here is our triple mac with our pulled pork. But you can as well do um, no meat or chicken or brisket um, too. I love the spiral noodles. I love that noodles. you can kind of customize what yes. you want. Because mm -hmm. I asked her while the piece was playing, could I get a banh mi? with brisket and you said? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Love that. And then what's yeah. this? So this is our bibimbap and this is what you saw Chef Greg make. So this is one of our most popular items. Again, another bowl feature. So it's gonna have rice at the bottom, our pickled carrots, our watermelon radishes. Uh, it's gonna have shiitake mushrooms, uh, the brinery kimchi, green onions, pickled onions, and then as well our, slice, our smoked brisket. Well, how creative. I love yeah. bibimbap, but yes. I never, it's always like bulgogi beef on it. Yeah, this yeah. is so different. Yeah, I love it. it. Yeah, and for our vegetarians, we also do smoked tofu as well. Oh, so. good to know. Yeah. Well, you guys really focus on your barbecue, but you also have great beer. Yeah, as well. uh, do they do they influence each other at all? Oh, absolutely. So one of the coolest things about barbecue is the fact that all different types of beer match well with barbecue. Um, so, for instance, like our bibimbap, our smoked house amber ale would be a great choice. Mm. And then mac and cheese, you could do our IPA or our porter. So really, we have ten different lines and a cask so like we really it. have a variety of beers to choose from that pair well with that's all awesome. of our it's like wine pairing exactly. yeah, yeah, I was beer. just thinking yeah. the same thing that's so cool. remind everyone where you're located uh, we're at 207 East Washington Street which is gonna be right off Main Street just a block up as well so right by the art fair you yeah. can't miss it yeah, very excited yeah, also if you want to try out the blue tractor we're giving away three fifty dollar gift cards and for your chance to win go to our live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at click on Detroit.com also, we have a Dine in the D group on Facebook, so come join us and talk about all of the best places to eat in town. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Danielle. Yes. I'm so glad to be here. Thank yes. you.